Hi everyone, this is Neil from Lightpillar and welcome to part 3 of the Mosaic video series. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the various options available for displaying a layout or directly applying a layout. So let's get started and take a detailed look at activation modes. In addition to the default drag and drop activation mode, which was demonstrated in the introduction video, Mosaic also offers four other modes. These are click and select, keyboard shortcuts, touch bar, and iOS remote control. The latter two modes will be covered in a dedicated video. Click and select enables you to activate any of the four layout views or quick layout by simply using a keyboard shortcut. If you are a keyboard junkie, or maybe you are using a MacBook where dragging and clicking at the same time is difficult for you, click and select is ideal. Make sure that the window you want to apply a layout to is selected and then press the keyboard shortcut. The default is Alt, Shift, Command and L. This will now pop up the selected layout view, in this case, the row view. Note that it confirms which app is selected above the layout icons. You can now mouse over any of the layer icons at your leisure and select the desired one. If you change your mind, you can simply hit the close icon in the top left corner of the layout view or tap the escape key. But let's select a layout to see it in action. You can configure the keyboard shortcut on the behavior tab in the preferences, but everything else is on the menu bar for your convenience. Let's take a look. Underneath the drag and drop section, you will see click and select. Here you can enable or disable it. You can specify which layout view is displayed and which group of layout icons is displayed. Here's a pro tip. You can set up click and select to display a different layout view and group to drag and drop. So you can use whichever method suits your current workflow. For example, I have drag and drop set to a row of common layouts and I have click and select showing all layouts in a docked view where there is plenty of room for everything. This combination gives you great flexibility. I've now opened the preferences and in the layouts tab I can see all of the layouts down the left hand side of the window. I'm going to apply a shortcut to the left and the right layouts. With the left layout selected, click the record shortcut button and I'm going to press shift command L. And similarly on the right layout, hit the record shortcut button and press shift command R. And that's all there is to it. Now let's demo that and see it in action. So now with my finder window selected, I can simply apply the left layout by pressing shift command L and the right layout by pressing shift command R. If you have a lot of layouts, remembering the keyboard shortcut for each one can be difficult. To save you from referring to each layout in the preferences, Mosaic simply displays the shortcut on the label of each layout icon. You can see here with the two shortcuts I created for the left and the right layouts. So that concludes my demonstration of activation modes. Don't forget that I'll talk about touch bar and the iOS remote control in a separate video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.